Yes, everyone, thank you for coming back to Dave Chanel's 40th World, where we do any type of review we want to do. And right now, we're going to talk about the famous, the extraordinary, the twirling tornado, Kenya Moore. Yes, it's on Dancing with the Stars. <sighs> yeah. Yay! Clap, 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 clap. Yes, Miss Kenya Moore has solidified herself in season 30 of the Dancing with the Stars. Yes, she's out there doing her little thing, shaking her little booty here and there, doing a foxtrot with some youngin. He looks very young. But hey, Kenya like him young, honey. She like him young. And you know she did her little flirting. But yes, ma'am, that's her cute little self up there with the dancing with the stars now of course you know tyra banks was there uh at one time nene leaks was on season 18 of dancing with the stars and i was like okay and half the time when the show had recently had started or had start had come out it was really showcasing people that had past careers that you haven't really seen uh, in a long time they were in their hiatus or uh habitating mode but kenya she really hadn't had ch a chance to hibernate or anything of that nature she's been out she's been on um real housewives of atlanta shoot i think since season five i think and she don't worked her way up all the way to 13 and she gonna get that check as long as she can get it honey and now she's you know spreading her wings and reintroducing herself to the world to the celebrity world hollywood all that jazz you know what i'm saying so she's competing to get that little disco ball type of trophy uh solidify herself in the dancing with the stars uh club i guess you can call it but like i said nene leaks was on season 18 looking like a little chicken and she a, a tall drink y'all Woo, that wig did not suit her at all but i guess she didn't need all that hair because she was trying to keep up with the steps and the man was taking it easy on her of course but yes that's nene leaks Okay, and I guess she said she did it first, so anybody after her, it don't matter. <laughs> but she tried to show her little self. She ain't wearing no heels, I can tell you that. I think Tamar Braxton was on it, too, briefly. And then she had a little stink with her hair, and she had to come off the platform, which was a sad thing, because I think she would have won it, just like she did that Big Brother situation um, in the Big Brother house. Uh, she won that. I didn't think she was going to win that, but child, she won that. But yes, that was Miss Nene. So, hey, it's very well fitting that Miss Kenya Moore would come out and do her thing. So, I'm glad they gave her that opportunity to spread her wings and showcase her many more talents, just like Nene Leaks did. And we hadn't heard the last from Nene. I think she's going to probably start uh, starting to get into more reality TV-based shows. And then, who knows, she might land another acting gig on some uh, sitcom show. I definitely think she done got bit by the Hollywood bug. And she has no plans of slowing up. And right now, she really don't have to. Because her kid is grown. Well, her kids are grown. Uh, Bryce, who is that Bryce? Who uh, was it, Bryce? I, I don't know who, what child it was. I can't think of her children name to save my life. I think Bryce is the oldest child. So I must be talking Brent. Brent, um, uh, is I think, uh, Brent or Brett is, uh, Nene's deceased husband's son. So, yeah, they grown. So she pretty much can go and do whatever she want to. I guess, you know, Brett could be his mom's assistant or whatnot. But Kenya Moore's having fun out there. Kenya Moore hair care. Kenya Moore hair care. Yes. But yes, yeah, she's out there doing her thing. Sit down with like a little lips. Red lips that she's sitting down on. And them two tigers in the back. Anyway, yep. She done joined the Dancing with the Stars, y'all. But let's go on and give a little history that independent uh, doc co.uk so i guess it's a uh, british um outlet is writing up an article on miss kenya moore and her stink with the um 
Dance with the Stars panel uh, named Sam Moore. He's a journalist over there. He titled his piece on Kenya Moore's dancing ability with the Dancing with the Stars cast. He titles it Kenya Moore on Dancing with the Stars, Everything You Need to Know About TV Personality. Moore is famous for appearing on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. He broke this story out uh, one day ago. But he goes on and he goes on to say reality TV personality Kenya Moore is among the 15 contestants taking part in season 30 of Dancing with the Stars. Born in Detroit, born in Detroit, Moore was raised by her grandmother and aunt after her mother abandoned her when she was just three days old. She has never since spoken to her biological mom. We know that for well, we don't know that for a fact. But we do know that she was definitely trying to use it as a storyline on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And that failed miserably. Which Kenya really shouldn't have put her mom in that situation anyway. I mean, if she didn't want to fool, which ain't no sense of being a dead horse, just let her go and be you and do you and, you know, excel. Okay? Uh, but going back into the article, it says, After graduating high school, Moore went on to college and majored in psychology at Wayne State University. That's why she liked to play with people's minds. She don't learn the tools and the trades of psychology. So that's how she psychoanalyzed everybody. So she get it honestly. She get it honestly. The child took up a trade in school, got a degree in psychology, so she could mess with you on a professional level. <laughs> And be knowing what she's doing all the same time. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, Though she has already started modeling, though she had already started modeling in her early teens at 22, more competed at and won Miss Michigan USA, and then went on to become only the second black woman to win Miss USA. Okay, after winning the title Miss USA, more was able to represent America at the Miss Universe pageant in 1993, where she finished fifth overall. Capitalizing on her modeling fame, Moore moved into acting and guest starred on several shows during the 1990s, including The, Prince of, uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Martin, and The Jamie Foxx Show. Moore also made a noteworthy appearance in the music video for Nas, Street Dreams. She came to mainstream attention after she started appearing in the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season five. Okay, and onward. Uh, yeah, I do remember that. Um, she was uh, had a little cameo spot on Martin's show. I don't remember her on, on Jamie Foxx, but hey, if it is one of her accolades, then let's give it to her. Okay, but really, she, when she started getting to be known as a household name and people knowing her and being aware of her many talents and abilities was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. So it really did give her her first-footed uh, plant foundation of a uh, relation to where we would know her from. Because, you know, if you would ask me, first thing would come up my mind, oh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, yeah, she was a uh, Miss USA pageant winner. You know, stuff like that. But... We only really truly, truly, truly know her and got a chance to watch her grow and develop was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, at least for myself. Anyway, going back to the article, it said, after becoming, a fan, well, after becoming a fan favorite on the popular reality show, Moore was cast on season seven of The Celebrity Princess, which was Donald Trump's final season as host. Moore placed seventh in the competition. I'm trying to think. You know what? Nene Leakes was on The Apprentice. Because I think she got into it with Michael Jackson's sister, uh, LaToya. And it was somebody else she got, got into it with. But, Lord, I tell you, they keep giving Kenya accolades after Nene have already solidified them. That, don't y'all find that strange? Don't y'all find that strange? Honey got mama and, and daughter. I call Nene the mama and I call Kenya the daughter. And they just fight like oil and water. Oil and water, child. But instead of them getting along to get along, they became arch 
em enemies of each other and still found ways to drive up them ratings. Okay, I was here for it every time they was on the same scene together. Even though they were acting ridiculous toward each other. But that's what we came to reality TV to see is ratchetness. And they definitely perform well. And Kenya is still performing. Outperforming herself. <laughs> I think she had to give a pat on her back. Her own self sometime. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Moore has also expanded into other areas. In 2007, she released a self-help book entitled Game, Get Some, What Women Really Want. Okay. And it goes on to say she has also released her own exercise video, a range of hair products, and her own production company. Moore has also been cast in the upcoming reality show spinoff, The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. In 2017, Moore married restaurant owner Mark Daly and have a daughter named Brooklyn together. Moore filed for divorce from Daly in August uh, this year, I'm guessing, because Lord knows I don't know why she was still holding on to it, but maybe it was uh, because she needed to have a storyline as well. So that's all we had on Miss Kenya Moore Hair Care twirling tornado out there in the scene looking pretty looking like a fairy princess but yes kenya said that was her ultimate dream uh it's a dream of hers to have always wanted to work and dance on uh and showcase how many um steps or what we call it feet um tiptoe and tap dance around the world uh on her little legs getting spun around and all that jazz honey yes kenya moore's out there doing her thing honey wearing them heels that red dress was so beautiful she looked like a little princess um that's a little tyke <laughs> that's the young man that was escorting her in her dance nobilities and trying to showcase her off not necessarily her dancing abilities, but just how she flows. She flows. She flows. <laughs> but yes, uh, I guess you have to vote 21523 if you want to keep Kenya Moore and her partner in on the Dancing with the Stars competition. So y'all make sure y'all drop down and watch ABC's um, Little Dance with the Stars sitcom and, and get your get your workout on, okay? Because remember, all things work together for good to those who love the Lord. Okay, so Romans 8 and 28. Always keep that in your mindset. Don't always let people get to you. <coughs> you, 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 how you say? You just keep going higher. They want to go lower, you go higher. Okay, and everything will work itself out. Because now Kenya is being showcased. It was Portia all the time. It was Nene. Then some of it was Candy. So now Kenya is getting her just to. Her time to shine. Okay, and we talk about her song in a positive light. So if y'all want her to win, remember 215-23 on Dancing with the Stars. Vote her in. Keep her in for as long as you possibly can. Who knows? She might even win the event. Okay. But that's all I had on this video. Congrats to Kenya. How many accolades she's doing and uh, serving uh, the black community up. And doing her doggone thing. Okay. She even had. I seen a picture on face, Not Facebook. Google, well, I googled. Uh, Kenya and Dancing with the Stars. And somehow Brooklyn came up with a little red dress on too. Like she was doing her little ball gown thing. I said you go ahead girl. You go ahead. I didn't want to put her daughter out there like that. Because I don't really like using kids in my videos. But I, I wanted to. But she said she wasn't there at uh dance with the stars that we can see because i don't watch that show i think i watched it when it first uh first couple of episodes but it's kind of boring and trying to do those old dances the fox try the uh, waltz and all that stuff i ain't have time for all that and then when you try to go get them i mean you really have to be very well in shape you know you don't you can't handle foot problems or no knee problems because you got to be doing these different twirls and stuff and that's really up kenya's aisle but sometimes you can, if you have uh, back injuries or leg or knee injuries, it's kind of hard to do uh, or stay in step with the ones that who act with the ones who you're partner with that actually can do it, dancing and they do it for a living. So 
it's a cute little thing but y'all let me know I, if i hear kenya one i'll come and do another uh piece on it but hey i just want to give her her accolades i just want to give her her shine and um just let her know she's out there doing it on thing and we're proud of her yes we are we're proud of her okay but that's all i got for this video if y'all want to comment please do so in the comment section but remember if you like it love you gotta have more of my videos make sure you subscribe 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 share my videos with your family friends or foes okay everybody need a little chuckle a little uh kiki ha ha little chuckle here and there uh it's good for the spirit you know endorphins when you get a good laugh especially when it comes from the good <laughs> that's the best one since hopefully you don't get no cramps while you're chuckling all right but that's all i got for the video and i'll see y'all next time good night